Hey guys, it's JD from Palmsol World, and here goes my iPad second generation on iOS 6.1.3. Now, today I am showing you how to downgrade both an iPad second generation and a iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3. Now you might be like, JD, why would you want to downgrade from a new software to an older software? Well, let me tell you why. So first of all, this iPad here, it originally had iOS 9 running on it, and it was extremely slow. It would freeze up all the time, and it was just horrible on this old iPad. So that's the main reason I downgraded, is to number one, make it faster, and later on in the future, your iPhone or iPad will, believe it or not, be worth more, because there isn't a lot of these around with iOS 6 on them anymore. Now, this is a non-jailbreaking way. This is through iTunes. This is through a trusted source. This, um, you can see here, this is a 4S. Perfect condition. Um, it is running iOS 9 point something. I don't know, just the newest one for, um, for the iPhone 4S. So it's really, it's new, but it's for an old phone, so it's going to be really slow. You can barely do anything on it. It is just horrible, so... I'm gonna show you how to do this. So number one thing that you wanna do is open up Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever. Now you want to go to, as all of my stuff pulls up here, notifications, you want to go to IPSW.me. IPSW.me. See there, it loaded up this site as my Thing was sort of out of focus. That's my iPad second gen again going off. Um, so it'll bring up this site. It should look exactly like this. If it doesn't, then make sure you typed everything correctly. Now you can see here there's a ton of things. Uh, you can downgrade your iPhone, iPad, iPod, uh, Apple TV, or iTunes, or even your Apple Watch through this site. Now in this case, we want to downgrade a iPhone 4S. So we click here, and we go down to our selected uh, iPhone. You can see here that you have to see if your iPhone is either global or GSM or CDMA, whatever. That is extremely necessary and is specific to your device. So this here, iPhone 4S, let's click on that. It shows all of these signed uh, IPSWs, which if it's not signed, that means you cannot downgrade through I or through iTunes. Um, so I, I would, of course, always prefer to have a signed IPSW. You can see here, 9.3.5 is signed, and then iOS 6.1.3 is signed for some really weird reason, which I don't know why Apple has a sign. Um, so basically what you want to do uh, is click on it, and it will bring up this little thing, and you click download, okay? That'll download, it'll probably take, depending on your um, Wi-Fi connection, mine took about, 20 minutes or so. So what you want to do now is after that downloads, you want to go uh, over to iTunes here. See here, this is my iTunes library. I know you guys are probably laughing at me for having Taylor Swift, but uh, whatever. Anyways, here it is. Uh, it shows serial number, iPhone 4S, 9.3.5, and it shows everything here, 16 gig, stuff like that. So what you want to do is go ahead and, of course, make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer with uh, preferably a genuine original iPhone cable that came with your phone. In this case, this one did actually come up with come with this 4S, and uh, it's a little bit ripped, but that's okay. As long as it can transfer data and everything, you are just fine. So make sure iTunes is running. Make sure you go to this exact screen here. Now, what you want to do is press Shift. At least that's what it is on Windows. I think on Mac it's Alt or Prenzel, whatever. And then you want to do, in this case, Shift. And then press on Restore iPhone. It has to be Restore iPhone. It could be nothing else. Um, okay, so you can see here I have a, t I have a ton of downloaded IPSWs um, because I've been experimenting with this. And you can see here iPhone 4 uh, comma 1 6.1.3 underscore restore 1 okay you want to click on that and then you want to press open I'll say iTunes will erase your 
iPhone to iOS 6.1.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. See, if the IPSW wasn't signed, then Apple would not uh, approve of it and they would just not let you update through iTunes. Believe it, I I've, I've tried it multiple times, it just will not work. Okay, you can see here, extracting software, and in just a minute, this should go ahead and switch to the old iOS 6 boot up logo. So I'll just go ahead and give that a second and let you guys watch. So, something's happening with the 4S here. It is going, you see, it just completely quit. And it should bring up the Connect to iTunes logo. And then it'll go away. That's good. It'll pop up with the classic iOS 6 boot up logo. If you can see it, it has a little slash through the Apple. Here it was not, it's not wanting to pick it up, but it is... Uh, restoring and it is working great so you want to go ahead and wait of course until this bar is complete and then another bar will pull up and you want to make uh, you want to keep it connected until that is complete and then eventually the iPhone will completely boot up and iTunes will tell you that it's okay to unplug it now and well then you'll be set so I'll go ahead and get back to you guys when it gets to that point all right, so iTunes should pop up this little logo, or not logo, but little box says that, and then the iPhone is booting up now. Turning on, there's that second little bar that I was telling you about. If you're on Windows, your computer should be making little noises. And there's my little three U tools, however you say it. Uh, app that I downloaded. By the way, that's really helpful. Um, I'm not sponsored to say that, but 3 year Tools is extremely helpful in this sort of stuff. I'm going to click out of that. It shows you battery specs and everything. It's really quite cool. And... There you go. <laughs> it's iPhone 4S. It's now officially on iOS 6. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and then I'll activate in just a few minutes. See there, English, yeah, United States. I'm not gonna show my Wi-Fi network, but there it is. I will activate this in just a minute and show you that there is no Cydia app or anything on that and that it is a 100% real um, download of iOS. All right, guys. Show you that in just a minute. Alrighty, so you can see here that I went ahead and just finished setting it up. And you can see this, this iPhone is now set up. You're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Not anymore. Anyways, let's go ahead and press start using iPhone. There we are. You can see we're in. There is no Cydia app or anything. This is a 100% real iOS, not modified or anything, straight from Apple. General, about, see there, iOS 6.1.3. So cool. I love this phone now. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll uh, see you all next, in the next video. But first, let's go and test out Siri. Hey, Siri. Greetings, Earthling. <laughs> I love that. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.